Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. In a little while I'm going to be going to watch the new Nicolas Cage film, Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Fit that on the top of the cinema screen. But before then, uh, I'm going to go and do a little bit of Blu-ray hunting in British Heart Foundation because they usually have a load of DVDs and some Blu-ray so we'll go and have a look see what they've got. But my review of the film will be up in a different video so it won't be in this video, it'll be in a separate one. Let's go and have a look in British Heart Foundation. We'll get there. Yes, we'll get to Dover Castle eventually when the sun's a bit better. So let's go down to British Heart Foundation. After the film, I'm going to come back here, pick up some fish and chips for me and Papa Bowman in a nice fish and chip shop. But uh, let's go and have a look for some uh, movies. Well, I've said it in a previous video or two, but where this little tractor thing is going and this green board, this big gap here used to be the cinema, the ABC cinema, where I watched Empire Strikes Back when I was a teenager. Yes, I've spent many a fantastic time at the cinema growing up, which is now just a, a waste wasteland. Okay, so here's British Heart Foundation. Let's go and have a look, see what they've got. Okay, so we've got some DVDs around here. We've got some Blu-rays up the top here. What have we got? Silent House. Uh, Man Up. Got Man of Steel with a slip. 18, Voice of West House, in between us, Big Eyes, Oblivion in there, Crank 2, got some box sets up here, Scrubs, Michael Caine box set, includes Alfie, the Italian job and Zulu, Biker Boys 7, Finest, some Gavin and Stacey, Fantastic Four, is that Freedom Lighters? I'll have a good look through this because there's quite a bit. And there's some on the spindly thing here. Up here we've got a couple of box sets, 24. Got 30 days of the night. But yeah, I'll have a look through. If there's anything interesting, I'll uh, pick them out. Okay, we have a ghost ship in a snapper case. Oh, don't mind that film, it's quite a good film. Plus we also have Training Day in a snapper case as well. 50p. And we have some Jackass, volume three from the TV show. And uh, we have Ricky Gervais' show, complete first season. We have a wreck, Apocalypse. Looks interesting. What we got on the spindly thing, anything interesting? It's a shame that ain't a still book. Uh, Ocean's Eleven snapper down there. Sahara. Aurora. Moment of life, still uh, factory sealed. Mystic River, it's pretty good. And DVDs are 50p each or three for a pound. Box sets individually priced. We have a little bit in still book. Oh, the game. Okay, so it's another day. Yes, it's Saturday. It was too late to record the bits when I got back to the car because I had to rush to the chip shop, get some supper for me and Papa Bowman. It was getting dark and uh, I needed to get back home so I can get a parking space. But anyway, 
Uh, British Heart Foundation yesterday had a few Blu-rays in there, some interesting ones. Nothing that I really wanted to pick up, although I was tempted by the, the Crank 2. I don't think you see that that often. Uh, but uh, on the way back to the cinema, I decided to pop into Scope, another charity shop. They sometimes have movies. And they had a whole selection of Blu-rays and DVDs. I couldn't do any recording in there. It was quite busy. And when you, it's, it's kind of like where the, the, the movies are, where the media is. It's very close to the clothing. So if you bend down, you end up knocking off a couple of dresses <laughs> behind you. So um, you have to kind of like thing you at an angle to try and see. Don't go there. Yeah, and um, they were doing three for a quid. Um, DVDs, just regular, nothing interesting. They did have some Blu-rays. They had more Blu-rays than British Art Foundation. Uh, there was three that I picked up, which I think is a pretty good deal. Uh, in fact, I think it's a brilliant deal, considering these are like 33 pence each. So, uh, yeah, the first one I picked up is the Polar Express 3D with a really nice slipcover. This is the 3D edition. This is a, a mint slipcover. So we have the Blu-ray 3D, the Blu-ray, uh, the DVD and a digital copy as well. Nice spine. Um, yes, you do see the Polar Express on Blu-ray everywhere. Uh, I, in fact, I think I've already got the Polar Express on Blu-ray in the Poundland bin. Um, in one of the containers in the storeroom. But you don't often see it with a really nice slipcover. So, yeah, I'm happy I found that. I do still have 3D. I do have my 3D projector. Uh, and the slipcover is kind of like shimmery. It has like a reflective silvery effect on it. So I think that's really nice. I think it's a really, really nice classy uh, slipcover. There's the usual inside um we do have a digital code we've got a little advert in here we've still got the leaflet showing you other the other 3d um how to get your windows media digital copy of the polar express i don't even know if this can be redeemed i i doubt it it says offer expires 27th of december 2012 and i don't even know if if you've got a place to redeem it but if you know what to do, it's one of those, Warner Brothers, if you know what to do, then have a go if you want to try it. I don't know. I'm not really interested in that anyway. So, yes, we have a, a nice 3D disc there with some artwork on. And then we have two discs inside. One is the Blu-ray and one is the DVD. And I checked the artwork and the, um, the, uh, the disc itself is totally minty fresh not even a fingerprint on any of the discs so it's been looked after uh, you, you can tell it's been looked after because the slip cover is mint totally mint so i'm happy i've got that i will watch that in 3d come christmas um it's been a while since i've seen it so uh be interesting to watch that in 3d so yeah i mean I, <laughs> Get me words out in a minute. <laughs> yes. So basically, that was 33p. 33p. Yes. Here's another one that was 33p as well. True Blood. The complete first season on Blu-ray. Factory sealed. This is the thicker uh, issue, so it's, I think it's the first release that came out. So I know that this the discs are going to be mint in this. So I was surprised to see this. They didn't put they put gift aid. They didn't put a a price up the top there, but it was on the wall. So yeah, I'm really happy that I got that. I, I did used to own this back in the day, and I sold it. Um, I don't know why. I think I was hoping that I was going to get. Maybe the complete collection. Is it seven seasons? Six or seven seasons? Uh, but, I, you know, I just, just decided to sell it at the time. Um, but for 33p, if, if I can build this collection back up for less than 10 quid. <laughs> it's 
So I'm going to keep an eye open in charity shops for any more seasons of True Blood. Yes. Um, it does have a little bit of a thingy on the bottom there, a bit of a crease, but other than that, perfectly mint. 33p. How much was this when it came out? Probably about 35 to 40 quid. Wow. And uh, they also had the complete second season of True Blood as well for 33p. <laughs> There's a theme here, yes. Matchery? Uh, Matchery? Factory? 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 Factory sealed minty fresh, yes. So I know the discs are going to be cool on that. So yes, I think that was one of the original reasons why I originally got rid of I think I got got rid of the first season because it doesn't really match and it's kind of like why can't they just do them all like that but for 33p who gives a shit who gives a shit yes so there we go so that is the Polar Express in 3D with a slip cover True Blood season 2 and True Blood season 1 minty fresh factory sealed 33 pence each <sighs> I think my hair's falling out <laughs> It's landed on my glasses. Um, yeah, my hair's all over the place. I've just come back from Folkestone. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving us some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. I'll see you on the next video very soon. <laughs>